We uh, mustn't take for granted what some countries can achieve in a pretty short span of time. Let's take 40 years and uh, what America has achieved from a political perspective in 40 years is extremely phenomenal. 1968 was the year in which Martin Luther King was brutally assassinated in Memphis. He was right in the middle of what I would say one of America's darkest hours when there were huge issues in terms of race relations between the black people of America and the whites and the country was being torn apart by an almost apartheid kind of policy although it wasn't official what was being practiced certainly in the southern parts of America yet just 40 years later in 2008 America voted in its first black president and that president Barack Obama completes his full two terms at the end of this year just as I have a dream my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character I have a dream today I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racists, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I don't know about you, but when I listen to Martin Luther King making that speech, the I Have a Dream lecture in Washington DC, it still gives me the goosebumps. His words are still completely relevant today in the 21st century, where religious, racial, ethnic discrimination are rampant across the globe and there's a lot more that needs to be done to rectify all of that if at all it can be rectified and that speech has gone down in history as one of the world's greatest speeches ever recorded i have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I, Barack, solemnly swear, I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the pres office of President of the, the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will, to the best of my ability, and will to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you, God. So help me, God. Congratulations, Mr. President. All the best wishes. is the story of this country, the story that has brought me to this stage tonight, the story of generations of people who felt the lash of bondage, the shame of servitude, the sting of segregation, but who kept on striving and hoping and doing what needed to be done so that today I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves. And 
and, and I watch my daughters, two beautiful, intelligent black young women, playing with their dogs on the White House lawn. On the 3rd of April, 1968, Dr. King was making a speech in Memphis, Tennessee. That too became a very famous speech, but for more tragic reasons. Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Less than 24 hours later, Dr. Martin Luther King, at the age of 39, was shot dead outside his Memphis hotel room. And the question I have for you, and in general, I guess, is if he was alive today, what would he have made of it all? He would have only been 87 and a half. I would have loved to have asked him about the dream that he had. Had it even partially come true? What would he have made of Barack Obama's presidency and the way America had moved forward? What would he have made of Donald Trump? What would he have made of the world we live in today? Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.